Hey fellow chess players, how's it going again? I'm back with another one on the um, DGT Centaur. And what I found, I think I found like a quote unquote hidden feature. I don't think it's anything official, but just in case if you want to do something like this, which I have done it, and I think it actually feels pretty good to get a time advantage against the expert setting. Well, you can do it on any setting, but I'm just saying expert because, uh, or the highest setting because, um, you know, just, you know, just to um, have that handicap, you know, because, uh, for example, if you want to handicap, say, to play against a computer with a night down, you can just do a position setup. Uh, but now you can also introduce a time um, handicap as well. So let me show you how to do that. There is one caveat, and I'll tell, and I'll tell you that the caveat is that you're going to have to play with the pieces on the opposite side of the board, and you're going to have to play with whatever first move that the computer decides to make and which is that's really okay because again this is for practice um or just you know playing around and it usually picks opening moves like no because it does have an opening book installed like e4 d4 whatever and um additionally when you play with the white pieces from the opposite side of the board which i do this quite often it just helps you visualize like what your opponent may be trying to do. You could you're calculating your side, your pieces from the opposite side. So I highly recommend doing that. So wait, let me show you how this works. So we go into the game mode, and what we're gonna do, we're gonna tell it for the computer to play white. Hit white, hit play, and the computer is gonna make a move. And when it makes a move, you're going to let your time uh, run down to whatever time handicap you want. And it's played B3, which, I, which is kind of odd. I mean, B3 is, I like B3. Maybe some people don't, but still, it's a, that's one small caveat. You usually got to play with what, you're going to have to play with what opening it decides to, its very first move. But generally speaking, that's okay. So while this is going down, let's just talk about something else. Being that we're in quarantine, a lot of people aren't playing over the board chess and, um, you know, you want to stay prepared and just mentally, you know, ready for tournaments. So what I like to do is I like to study with real books like this instead of using my I use my computer as well. But this book uh, here is a is uh been getting a lot of press here lately. So I decided to pull it off the shelf and go through it. So one quick thing I'm going to tell you guys, I'm going to do a small four-part series out of this book on what to do against an uncastled king just practical decision making and not only for attacking but defensive purposes as well because if you can kind of get these ideas down um you know they can work from either west either side uh, i also have me a little book stand to put this on it has little clips right here to hold the pages down for me so i mean you can just set your book in it like so so i don't know if you can fully see that but you can see so anyway um i'll link these things in the description as well if you want to take a look i also like to keep my uh my uh scorebook handy because i actually play games against the ddt centaur and i play uh and write down notation just if I'm playing in a tournament. I mean, it's only rapid games. I don't do like four one hour, you know, 70 game, 70 delay five games. I don't do anything like that, but I do like 20, 25, 30 minute games and do that. And I also play with my clock. Although uh, what I do is I set the, the computer to, to have no uh, time on and then I just set the time up here. And although the computer doesn't have a sense of what time is playing, I mean, it still is just, again, the whole, the, the biggest point here is you just want to simulate yourself playing in a tournament here so you can just keep that feel of just being at the board with pieces and just being focused on the, the moves at hand. So, all right, so let me show you. So now that we've got down to whatever time limit you get too comfortably, I'm just going to stop it now. So we're going to go back to the menu into game mode and what we're going to do is we're going to tell the computer now to play black I hit the check hit start let I me mean hit play rather and now it's going to commence to moving in black pieces we'll just play a few moves so i'll just show you how this goes so it plays a move b3 i mean only i mean this is how you play the b3 opener you play bishop uh b2 and now I have a time advantage. And one second caveat to this is that uh, the game 
uh, keeps going even if the time runs out. So it's going to be up to you to actually stop the um, to actually stop the um, to actually stop the game. So if you if you choose to say win on time, quote unquote, or whatever, but you, again, this may be something to help with, like some 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 uh, tactical variations to see if you can um, say. Uh, checkmate a computer fast enough before it can weasel its way out or something like that. But anyway, I just wanted to show you guys this little small little hidden feature here that I think, well, I'm calling a quote unquote hidden feature here to where you can get a time advantage if you choose to do so. So anyway, you guys uh, have happy chess and I will see you guys again soon with my four part series on what to do against an uncastled king. Take care.